Hello and welcome to Screw Loops and today Fort Parker building a brand new roller coaster. Yes! Sorry about that guys. I have waited 10 years, nearly 10 years, for this moment I've created two epic speculation videos, both which have failed. And here in December 2021, Fort Park have announced they are planning to build a brand new roller coaster. But what could it be? And this is exactly what I'm going to be covering in this video. I'm going to be sharing everything I know and everything I don't know. Wouldn't be a predictions video otherwise. About this brand new project at Fort Park. So recently this mysterious website called fortpark-consultation.com shock the world. It states that Fort Park Resort would like to invite you to view information about the emerging proposals for an exciting new roller coaster at the resort. This website will be available from Friday the 10th of December 2021. Now this date is extremely important. Do you know why? Because Fort Park are going to be dropping plans for a brand new roller coaster. Which in hindsight makes this video obsolete. So why am I bothering to film and edit this? Well it's just all part of the history at the end of the day. So where is this new roller coaster going to be? So earlier this year Fort Park started removing Logger's Leap. And do you know why that is? To make room for something new. Not only that but Fort Park kindly confirmed that the whole area which in Logger's Leap is in, Old Town, will also be closed for the entirety of the 2022 season. They stated the area supporting the Rocky Express, Lumber Jump and Timber Tugboat will not reopen for the 2022 season. Which kind of says to me this new roller coaster is 99% gonna be in that area. And not only that, but also Platform 15 had its final run this year. Platform 15 is located on that stretch of land just by Monk's Walk. And honestly, that takes up quite a bit of space. If that's indicating anything to me, is that this roller coaster will not only take up parts of where loggers leap used to be, but it will also stretch along that bit of land alongside Monk's Walk up to like where Rumba Rapids is. So we're talking a pretty big footprint here. So now we pretty much know where, we can discuss what this coaster could be. Given the kind of footprint at hand, I can see a kind of out and back style layout that'll stretch along the back of the park and back down to Old Town. So my initial guess is something on the lines of a hyper coaster, maybe a, a B&M hyper on the lines of like Candemonium at Hershey Park. We could have the station situated in the old town and then create an out and back style layout down the back end of the park towards Rumba Rapids with airtime hills and whatnot. All that B&M hyper stuff. There could be a possible UK height record, but I don't think it's going to be much higher than the big one if it is. The reason I say that is because Fort Park need to consider the locals when creating roller coasters. Look at Stealth for example, they had to paint the upper half of that coaster white because it was visible to the locals. And don't forget, Fort Park need to present these plans to the locals before they can even build anything. So they can't just go, we're going to build a 300 foot giga coaster I saw. Is this okay? That is just not gonna happen. So if they do build something that's gonna beat the height record, I'm thinking, talking lower than 250 feet. And maybe with a color scheme, it'll be on the lighter end. So maybe like we'll be seeing like a cream colored track, some really pale colored tracks, maybe a pale pink. Or do what they did with Stealth and just paint the top half white so it just doesn't look so obvious. <laughs> to the locals. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a B&M Hyper. Mac Hyper coasters are fantastic. I have done one. I would love to see one of those. Could also have an Intamin Hyper coaster. Heck, I believe Vekoma have also patented a Hyper coaster kind of model. So that could be a first. Whatever it is, I just hope it's going to have some really good airtime, a decent drop on it, a nice lengthy layout. Just something that, you know, we don't particularly have in the UK. Another type of coaster I think it could possibly be is a hybrid coaster. Now I'm not blatantly saying RMC. I know that's become pretty much a meme in the community now. Just on the basis that Gravity Group and GCI are also doing hybrid coasters now, so it could be any of those either. Again, like with the hyper coaster, I think this could also utilize like an out and back style layout down the back end of the park. Throw in a couple of inversions in there, which will be really nice, and a UK first. This seems 
very marketable. You could also have it on the larger end without, you know, taking a UK height record. I'd be completely fine with a hybrid coaster that's, you know, 150 foot plus. So there's always that. There were plans previously for a GCI coaster before Saw the Ride was built. So it could be a traditional Woody. Again, this would be fine, but I definitely think it's less marketable than a hybrid or a hyper coaster. But again, I wouldn't say no to a GCI. But they could also throw us a complete curveball. A family coaster, maybe? A flying coaster? Maybe a spinning coaster? A Mac Extreme spinning coaster would be a good shout. Who knows? So now we've discussed where and what. How about when? I think 2023 is a very likely year for this to be built. I know my past track records of <laughs> predicting these dates have been a little off. But bear in mind, I did those videos when no plans were really released for a roller coaster. We know that Old Town will be closed next season, so that just says to me they're going to start construction next season. Obviously, if these plans are approved. And if construction starts next season, then... I don't see why not for 2023. I think it's very possible. We'll just have to wait and see. So now I've shared my predictions and everything I know, and again, everything I don't know. I'm going to head over to Twitter and check out some of your guys' predictions for Fort Park's next big roller coaster. Dan, <laughs> trust you. Wacky worm coaster located in the dome. Why not Jack Airtime 09? A Mac Big Dipper with a similar layout to Lost Gravity as it has a perfect length to it and the throughput looks pretty decent. Let's face it, it's not going to be an RMC. Hey, I wouldn't write RMC off. Believe me, I am sceptical. I wouldn't mind a Mac Big Dipper. Maybe not for Fort Park. A Mac Big Dipper would make sense in a park like Drayton Manor or maybe like Paulton's Park or even Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I think Fort Park are looking to build something. Big, but who knows? We, we, we could see a Matt Big Tipper. Tom likes things. Oh god, how do I say this now? Zamperla Valerie in place of Saw, but still we saw Femi because then it actually will be a torture device. <laughs> That's a very accurate prediction. Just for the record, Zamperla Valeris or Valaris or whatever. I'm just gonna call Zamperla Valeris because I don't care. That'd be fun. Torture. The Digital Dan, big shout out. If the flyers are true, then I'll be an old town. And I reckon I'll be some sort of western slash creek freak style coaster. BNM or Vekoma. Don't think I'll be an RMC despite everyone wanting that. <laughs> I didn't think about that actually. You've got a point with the theme. Maybe they're going to re-theme the entirety of Old Town now, who knows. Although I do really like that idea of having a kind of Western Creek Freak Massacre kind of theme. That would be really cool. Matt Allison, Creek Freak Massacre GCI wooden coaster in Old Town. Not necessarily a prediction, just what I do. The more I see this, the more I like this idea. I love the idea of having a GCI coaster with that kind of Creek Freak Massacre kind of horror theme to it. That would be wicked. That would be really good. Alex Crowther. A Mac Hyper Coaster, it will be an Old Town Western theme. I'm feeling there's a bit of a, a theme with these predictions. <laughs> but yeah, I'd absolutely love a Mac Hyper Coaster. Personally, I'd probably like that more than a BM Hyper Coaster. On the basis that there aren't many Mac Hypers out there, and I feel like they're a bit more versatile in what they can do with the layout. Hoost! I'm going for a completely different guess that I reckon no one has mentioned. How about a Vekoma Bermuda Blitz like Let Coaster? Yes, please. My God, there needs to be more Bermuda Blitzes in the world. Let Coaster looks awesome. Vekoma are really coming out of the shell with these kind of coasters. They're really up in the game. Scott Daly. I want to be an M Hyper Solo because I want the Thought Park getting an RMC memes to continue in the years after it's built. You have a very valid point. <laughs> Chasing Coasters. Wouldn't surprise me. Has anyone watched Squid Game though? Th that would be awesome. I I'd imagine like a Squid Game style experience at Fort Park would be really cool. So with that, I have finished this video and I am very excited to see what Friday brings. I will be filming another video on that day, sharing my reaction. I'm going to try and get my initial reaction of seeing these plans and do kind of like a deep dive analysis kind of video. So if you want to watch that, then please subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Flick the bell so you don't miss it over. Also, videos on the left merchandise on the right make sure to hit this button wherever you are for the ride of your life you've been watching screw loops 
Jarvis. <laughs>